out of the traditional bag, even in an open tuning, you start getting these harmonics that you don't want. So I think it's important for anybody that wants to take slide playing seriously to learn the right hand muting technique. So if you watch what I'm doing, okay, I've got a pick all the time that just stays there in case I need it. The only time I need a pick for playing slide is if I want, if I want like a really hard attack that's more than my fingers. Otherwise, it's really the right hand muting technique that's most important because if you take that away, the overtones are horrible and would discourage not only the listener, but the, the person playing as well. So. If I were to play that without muting, it would just be, there would just be all this noise, you know? So if you see what I'm doing, I have my thumb draped across the bottom strings to mute those. Uh, and whichever finger I'm using to attack, I'm using the other fingers to mute the strings I'm not attacking. So you're basically keeping any unwanted strings from ringing. That's really the step that gets you to the next level where you go, oh, well, I think I'm starting to get a handle on it. Another thing that, that I do that uh, I think most slide players do is choose what part of the neck I want to be on for, uh, based on the sound that I'm looking for. So I always tell people there's a lot of different ways to play the same note. So if you play the same note but it sounds different in each position so what does that mean if I want a thinner sound I'll go if I want it to be fatter it's like changing your voice opening your mouth more closing it more it's the same kind of thing when you're thinking on your feet in a live setting you might go to hit a note and you go oh that's a little too thin so you move it and it's nice to apply that contrast as well. You know, there are times when I'll play a thin version of the note a few times and then go up to the fat one and it, for just the, the kind of dramatic effect that a singer would use. I think one of the cool things about slide guitar is that there are all the notes in between the notes that you don't have on piano. It makes it easier to emulate a human voice, which is kind of the whole point. The human voice is the greatest instrument of all. So there are a lot of instruments that are trying to sound like they're singing through their instrument. And that's what I've always been attracted to. <laughs>